What is up, everybody? It is about that time again, and who doesn't love the X-Men? One of my favorite X-Men as a kid because of the X-Men the animated series is none other known than Scott Summers' Cyclops, known for his blast power, but that's not all that is to him. Cyclops is the mutant leader of the X-Men. Cyclops has the mutant ability to fire optic blasts, which are projections of force. He wears a battle visor with a single ruby quartz lens running eye to eye. He has a switch on his visor and a switch in his glove to activate the beams through his visor. In one instant, he claims to have emergency backup ruby quartz lenses. That would make sense because he can't control it if he doesn't have his glasses on. He's always prepared. Having multiple ways to shoot out of stuff, not just his actual lens, but his actual gloves as well. He even states he has emergency backup lenses. But how strong is Cyclops? I mean, we know he's crazy strong because of his blast power, but one thing I want to get over and out of the way real fast is his actual skills. Most characters, when it comes to superpower characters in particular, in particular, especially mutants and stuff, people automatically assume these characters don't have any type of actual hand-to-hand -hand combat skills, tactical skills, or anything, just because they don't really need it technically because they have these absurd powers like Cyclops having these big old blasts that can blast away mountains. Why would he need combat skill? You just never know the situation. You just never know the opponent. And the X-Men actually train for situations like this via Danger Room and things like that. For one, he's an expert at analyzing his opponent and planning his attacks out as he has a very strong thought process in the middle of fights. He is consistently shown to be able to predict tactics of the villains he fights as well. Blasting these giant dinosaurs is so satisfying, by the way. Like a lot of characters in, you know, the street tier physically and, and speed and things like that, they have really ridiculous combat speed because that's just how they are. Same dude tried to blitz him and got like blitz before he could even fire the gun. As you can see, he's already knocked him out with his skills alone. There's been times where he was actually able to keep his eyes closed and still beat down multiple opponents, showing his raw skills without even actually actually having to see. Don't you just love when people sleep on characters with superpowers when it comes to their combat skills? Cyclops is not one of those spoon-fed characters that relies straight on his powers. Being able to slug it out with a martial arts master like Wolverine, somebody else that's underrated when it comes to combat skills. Not to mention, he actually incorporates his actual blast into hand-to-hand. -hand. Look at this, like being able to deflect his beams backwards like that. That's some skills. Consistently shown to be able to combat with other X-Men. Yet another occasion of fighting multiple X-Men like Wolverine, Nightcrawler, and etc. Showing his skills. Well, he is the team leader for a reason, right? Showing multiple times where he has agility. As you can see here, showing his acrobats. It's pretty set in stone that he has really good raw skills. Even being able to fight characters like Storm in hand and combat. But the crazy thing and most impressive thing is that the creativity he can use with his actual optic blast. You would think his optic blast would be like black and white, right? Like you just shoot it forward, right? But this dude actually knows how to use his blast in creative fashion. Like ricocheting and doing area effect, making it skinny, making it wide, things like that. There was a time he had chains around his wrist. He was able to ricochet the octoblads to destroy the chains. What? He's consistently shown to be able to ricochet, be able to hit multiple opponents with his ricochet in the danger room, evidently. There was a time he even did a massive ricochet blast to destroy a car and explained to Captain America how he ricochets with his beams and stuff and how he escapes things. He has such control over his beams where he can make it wide, but it won't hurt them lethally. When he's falling, he actually uses his beam to actually slow his fall down. There's a time he made like a way for the plane to land, a landing strip with his optic blast. There's a time he fought Storm, of course, being able to attack her with his beams. Beams seem to be pretty fast. Being able to take down an opponent by ricocheting his blast to knock out the opponent holding him. He was able to slow down a boulder without destroying it. This precise control of his beams is like incredible. It's even stated that the optic blasts are actually the speed of light, which would explain a lot. I mean, they are energy and light, right? Technically, right? He can turn walls into powder with his blast. Has such full control over his beams where he can make it so thin to where it's like a piercing weapon where it actually pierces characters like the blob. Can absolutely destroy a person's body when he wishes with the beams. Wow, this is freaking dark and gruesome. His beams are even strong enough to absolutely destroy a tank. Tanks that are made to withstand little baby missiles and bullets with ease. Literally able to blast a top of a mountaintop out so they, these beams can escape. Blast power. Blast is a tunnel. This is something cool to watch digging holes with his beams but he stated to evidently be able to pulverize adamantium i don't know if that's true or not man i mean that would make his beams like on some galactic level stuff right considering what adamantium has endured there's a time he was actually able to cause some of the skin on the hulk world war hulk to look like it boiled a little bit evidently throughout there many years of course you know he's fought sentinels he was actually able to blast through this sentinel like this his blast power actually has to be mountain level at the least, being able to carve his way through a mountain with his blast power. Keep in mind that his blast power is actually limited when he actually has his goggles on and he's still able to do something like this. There was this being that actually 
can absorb energy. Cyclops was able to blast him with so much power. He was evidently able to overload the same being with his energy. Too much power. He remembered Bishop from that X-Men movie. Well, evidently Cyclops has the power to overload Bishop as well. This dude literally absorbs energy as well. And it takes a whole lot to overload him. Considering that the same being known as Bishop was able to absorb a blast from freaking Onslaught, a freaking Skyfather level being, but yet Cyclops was able to overload him somehow. It was also stated that the same blast that Bishop absorbed could well, stop a thousand mutants. This is freaking incredible. Even though Bishop got knocked out, but this is freaking Onslaught. How the heck did Cyclops knock this guy out if he can take stuff like this? Like, Cyclops has a lot of energy. Good lord, Cyclops has freaking wide blast. And they even state that his blast is like a nuke. Another island level, city level, city busting level confirmation that concretes him in that level. He can even shoot down incoming missiles. His beams can travel a far distance. Be able to shoot down an airplane from a while, from far away. Like, dang, that's cool. And Sentinel is on the way to where they're at. He's able to blast them before he gets all the way there. This dude Cyclops can blast with a big area of effect. Look at all that space. He's even a pretty decent tracker when it comes to tracking. Y'all remember Colossus? One of the most underrated beings in my personal opinion up there with characters like The Thing. How about the fact that Cyclops' beams can actually harm characters that are durable as Colossus? Most people are Colossus lowballers. And if you're one of those people that are Colossus lowballers, how about you do me a favor? And if you don't know how strong Colossus is, go ahead and check out the video I made about a month ago about Colossus to really see why hurting him and seeing the lore and writer intent for Colossus on why hurting him is very, very impressive for those that do not know. So go ahead and check that out if you get the chance. On my page, is right there. Colossus is one of those people I would debatably say is in the star level like the thing. A lot of people would underrate because he never actually has the battlefield, but I told you like he has the writer intent in that other video and you see if you don't understand or believe me. Okay, and then there's that time there's this absurd feat. Evidently at full power, his optic blast can evidently rip apart a small planet in half. Like... Is this an outlier or is this the truth? Because this is true. I mean, it. he does kind of have some lore that it suggests this. He casually busts mountains. He casually carves holes in the mountains. He casually can hurt characters like Colossus with his beams on. And if he takes the visor off, hurting, or not hurting, but he can blast with enough force to rip out of the planet, I would say it's possible. I mean, it is Marvel. There's a lot of planet busts. There's nothing really big. But the thing of the Cyclops being this powerful, it's almost like, whoa. But what do you guys think in the comments section? Make sure you post your opinions about this below. He's actually destroyed debris off a ceiling with a big old wide blast before. Hey, can even he can even shoot multiple targets. He's implying combat speed with a little blur effect here as well. I know it sucks, but this feat run is going to have to be cut short. I mean, it's not really too, too much to do. I mean, this is not going to be my last Cyclops video on my page. And this is definitely not going to be my last X-Men video on my page because X-Men is my favorite organization as of this time. It is making me making this video is my favorite organization in Marvel, so I definitely will be doing more of this. But I try to get the most important feats, most coolest feats out there, especially the one with the fact he was able to overload Bishop, the same being that can take blasts from Onslaught, a freaking Skyfather, able to freaking state that he can rip apart small planets, but that's a statement, though. But, I mean, he did overload Bishop, the same being that took a blast from Onslaught, so I guess it's possible, who knows? I mean, heck, he's even hurt underrated characters like Colossus, that a lot of people don't really take seriously and think he's only city level or something crazy like that. Even though World War Hulk gave him props, even though he murked him still. But World War Hulk giving you props is no easy feat. And stated, stating that you're weaker than World War Hulk is not really saying much. I mean, being weaker than World War Hulk could just mean you're on the level of Grey Hulk or something. I mean, that's still ridiculous because Grey Hulk is a planet buster. I mean, overloading somebody that can take a blast from Onslaught is no easy feat. And Onslaught freaking tried to kill him too. It was like a really powerful blast. Even though it knocked out Bishop... Cyclops was able to freaking overload this same being with his optic blast. I mean, heck, one could say I, Cyclops, if he just kept his eyes open, would his beams just keep blasting forever? If I'm not, based on research, he, he does have like a little portal to another dimension. So it's like an infinite amount of energy they can just shoot out because it's like another dimension worth of energy. But what do you guys think? Did you not? Did you guys know that Cyclops was this strong? Did you have a really good idea he was this strong with the optic blast? Did you know he actually can fight? Yeah, he, he actually can fight hand-to-hand -hand combat wise. The movies don't really portray it like that though. They just make sure they just use blast the whole time. But yeah, he's actually a skilled hand-to-hand -hand combat and be able to fight one of the most skilled fighters in the world, like Wolverine, fighting characters like Storm. She actually has hand-to-hand -hand combat too, for those that don't know. And even power characters like Colossus hand 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 combat. The X-Men should not be slept on. But I want to hear you guys' thoughts. Make sure you check out the playlist in the description below. Make sure you just scroll my page and just check the playlist out the old fashioned way. Make sure you check out the affiliate links I have in the you might like the gear that I use and it's very simple and very budget friendly but what do you guys think post some comments down below 
Affiliate links below. Make sure you check out them playlists. Make sure you scroll through my page. Leave comments, likes, subscribe so you can see more stuff like this because I post a lot of stuff like this. But make sure you post them comments down below. I will see you guys next time. More X-Men videos coming in the future. Respect Cyclops and his blast power.